Okay, here's the unboxing of my waveform generator, my Rigo DG4102. I just got it within the last half hour. Uh, this is a waveform generator as opposed to a function generator. Function generators just produce basic functions. You can't do a whole lot with them. They produce you know, sine waves, triangle, square waves, etc. Uh, very low cost devices. They had generally have an internal memory of about one megahertz, meg, uh, megabytes, I should say. This thing has, I think the specs say about 528 megabytes, or they generally have that. And this is going to be an unveiling or an unboxing. I just, like I said, I just received this, and so here we go. So you're you're going up, you're watching right along with me. Cut down the sides. Uh, this came, like I say, from Rigel. So here we go, opening it up. And with this, I plan on performing certain experiments. Number one experiment I plan on doing is to prove Joseph Newman's machine or motor. I did a thesis on Joseph Newman, uh, his ideas when I was in school. And as far as I know, there's not a whole lot of, or not that many people um, doing that experiment where you have a um, presumed infinite, or you do have a, pres a, a, inf or a finite, I should say, a current flow and uh, in a wire. And so there's some practical aspects of that. And I'll get more into that later. But Okay, so I have a box within a box. And I will, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, bear with me here. There's one box out of the way. Put it down here. Oops, excuse me. Okay, I'm faced with another box. I hope it doesn't go on inf inf infinitely like this. And this is the, like I say, the uh, DG4102, the Rigel. And all these new test equipments that come with these uh, bigger screens, the TFT, LCD, I'm a sucker for them. <laughs> I love it. Got a package there. Got AC cable there. Where is it? There you go. Looks rather nice. Okay, no big deal. What else do I have here? BNC. All right. Okay, and uh, last but not least, oh, okay, USB. Okay, so you're seeing it for the first time along with me. And like I say, I do plan on doing some experiments. I'm going to start out with a Joseph Newman uh, motor, the one that I did a thesis on in school. And get rid of the styrofoam ends. Put the box aside. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Let's see. Uh, twist it. Twist. Okay. Jessica bag, take it apart. Let us see. Uh, let me put, get something to put it on. Okay, I'm gonna undo the package. I'm gonna have to edit part of this out. This is ridiculous. Just ridiculous. Oh, that wasn't so bad. I take it back. <laughs> I take it all back. Oh my god, look at how beautiful that thing is. Wow. Put that down like that for a second. 
And I don't know how much of that can be seen on the video monitor. I haven't, uh, next thing I'll do is plug it in and review it. Let's see if I can get a close up of that. There it is in all its glory. Okay. Nice big seven inch. They say it's seven inch. Let's measure it and find out. Yeah, it's seven inches. Seven inches on the money. Believe me, if it was a half an inch short, I'd take it back. When you say something seven inches long, you better you better know I'm gonna break out my measuring device. There it is. If you want to see a review of this, there's several places on the internet. Uh, Dave Jones in the uh, EEV blog has already done a pretty good evaluation of this. He gave it a thumbs up. That's probably the main reason why I'm, I, I got it. But look at that. It's not really as... They look a lot bigger on the internet, I will say. Looks a lot bigger. Here's my hands. Here is... Uh, well, if the screen is seven inches, then the whole thing is about thir it's 13 inches. It is six inches high, 11 and a half inches wide, weighs 13 pounds. It's four inches deep. It's got a fan in there. And that is the unveiling, my friends. 100 megahertz. Two, two channel, 500 mega samples per second. Function are all are called an AWG. I call it AUG, arbitrary waveform generator. Okay, so that's pretty much the unveiling. Thanks for watching. Hello.